going to give you a brief demonstration of the ribbon printer and its operation. You're looking at the screen that you'll see once you open the software. On it, you're going to see the little red box that I'm moving around. You double click on that red box and it opens up what we call the format text box. This is where we're going to actually enter whatever we would like to print on the ribbon. I'm going to go ahead and type in transfer paper Canada. Now directly below that you'll see the word font and the arrow key to the right. If I click on that arrow key you're going to see all the fonts that are available in the program and how this works is any fonts that are on the computer you install the software on will show up here so you have the ability to print any of those fonts on your ribbon. Directly to the right of that you're going to see the box that's called fixed size. If I enter a check mark here that's going to allow me to bring that font proportionately correct on whatever width ribbon I'm printing. So if you go from a 10 millimeter ribbon to a 100 millimeter ribbon, the font's always going to be proportionately correct if you choose fixed size. If you don't choose fixed size, you have the ability to go to the lower right hand corner of any setup and make it any width, height, size that you would like it to be. Directly below that, you'll see the bold button, which will make your font bolder. You can italicize your font. You can underline your, underline your font. Just to the right of that, you'll see a check box here in the center text box. If I leave that there, your text is automatically centered on the ribbon. If I remove the text, the check, excuse me, then it's not going to be centered and you have the ability to move it anywhere you'd like on the ribbon. Just to the right of that, we've installed what we call vertical printing. So if you put a check mark in the vertical box, the text is going to run vertically down the ribbon instead of horizontally. Now what I'm going to also do is I'm just going to say OK. And you're going to see Transfer Paper Canada on your screen. And I can move that wherever I'd like, but I'm just going to bring it over to the left hand side here. Now at the top of the screen, up at the left, there's a print button. We're going to click on Print. And it's going to ask you how many copies. You can print one, five, five hundred, a thousand, whatever you'd like. We're just going to say Print 2. And as soon as I say OK, you're going to see momentarily it's going to start printing Transfer Paper Canada on the ribbon. Right now I have a navy foil in the machine. There's 15, 16 different colors of foil that you can print with on the ribbon printer. Now we're going to go back over to the design screen. I want to show you another feature of the program. I'm just going to hit my delete key, which will remove the Transfer Paper Canada from the screen. And at the top of the screen, I have a Add an Image button. I'm going to click on Add an Image. And what I'm going to do is, I can. I, this is going to allow me to add any image that I want. I'm going to click on the Transfer Paper logo and say Open it. And you'll notice automatically that that logo is on my screen. I'm just going to bring it over to the left-hand side and resize it. You'll see a ruler at the bottom, so I can make this any width that I would like to make it. Now, this allows you to bring in any company logo, any odd logo that you would like to print on ribbon, so it's a super easy feature to use and a great feature of the program. We're going to go ahead and print that on the ribbon again, so I'm going to say print. Let's print that three times, so I'll just go one, two, three, and say OK. And momentarily, you'll see Transfer Paper Canada printing directly off the ribbon printer. We hope you liked this brief demonstration, and for more information, just contact us here at Transfer Paper Canada.